I would, I would say, bro, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, for a majority of guys, like, that all is true. But the thing is, like, a lot of guys are, you know, like, uh, some people would say go for an adjustable seven because, you know, like, mm. she, she's, a, she's a pretty girl, but she can put makeup on and, you know, maybe go higher or lower. And that is a good way to look at it. But honestly, um, if you don't choose a girl that's a certain caliber, you're probably going to end up cheating or wanting to step out later on in the future. I really think that guys need to shoot for especially today with social media, because social media gives everybody this think of or this view that I can have this certain level, this certain caliber of woman. And uh, some guys are so same with women, too. Some women have experienced certain calibers of men that if I tell them to go down and date down, they're going to just give up orgasms for, for the rest of their life. You know, after one or two years, that guy's not going to hit it like the like, like the guy that they make weight or something, you know. So I, and it's the same for the guys. Like, I really think that you should kind of shoot up. The problem is guys don't know where to go today. The biggest issue today is guys have no they have outer they have no outer game. They don't know where to go, when to go, why to go, how. That's the biggest issue in dating today. Every guy would be fine and they could all have their own pretty girl that's actually a good wifey girl that will cook, clean, do all that stuff for them. If they're that guy and they also go look in the right place. But most guys go on dating apps, they go um, to clubs, to the places where you're going to run into pretty girls that are also hoes because of where they're at. Like, and it's, it's stupid. A lot of guys like sit there and play victim about all these girls are hoes. No, not all the girls are hoes. You don't know where to go. So and like you keep going to hoe avenues and then wondering why you end up fucking <laughs> <a> <laughs> Ludicrous out here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, where would you recommend that guys go then? You're saying That's that the, guy, the guys are having a guys are having a locating problem. Yes, it's like a, it, in the sports it's world, it's called scouting. Oh. All right, so it's where should men be scouting? It's all sourcing, okay? And, like, I don't tell anybody where to source because that's my one secret. That is the one thing that gets guys into my mentorship is because mm. I know a spot I, or I know multiple spots to go that nobody else talks about. I'm the only guy in the red pill space on the Internet at all that even brings this shit up. It's actually crazy because uh, there's a f girl tier list, okay? So, like, at the very top of the f girl tier list is, like, the models, um, the girls who make money off their Instagram. Say they have hundreds of thousands of followers, million followers. The girls that are legitimately making money off of their stuff. This is the top of the f girl tier. This is S plus tier f girls, okay? Right under that, you would see like uh, the OnlyFans, strippers, something like that. They're like an S tier f girl. Under that, like A tier, you go down to like strippers, okay? Um, and then under that, we would say like the bartenders or the bottle girls are like B tier. There's a C tier where those girls all start out at usually. I'm not gonna tell y'all, but that's where, but those guys, what you wanna do is find those girls before they become girls. You can get a girl that's beautiful and perfect and you can find them in between the ages of 18 to 25 before they get ruined by life. But most guys just don't know where to go. And the next thing you know, she ends up bottle girl and then OnlyFans girl or stripper or whatever. And the next thing you know, she's already a fuck girl. And like, you can find these girls before they get to that point, but guys just don't know where to go. I've done it multiple times. I've had multiple relationships and always a beautiful girl, always submissive, always woman, like womanly. And I, and I just see that. And I've tried to teach people this for a decade, but nobody listened to me. And now it's like, okay, I'm going to start actually teaching people who want to pay me for it. And everybody's having great success with it. It's just a matter of going to the right place, outer game. Most guys don't have outer game.